Hello kids. How are you Matthew? I'm fine father. Father, you told us that you'll be telling the story of Elijah today. Yes Lucy, I will tell you the story of Elijah today. Who was he father? Elijah was the first prophet of God. Prophet? Yes, a prophet was a spokesman of God, a defender of the covenant. Hmm. Do you remember the story of King Solomon? Yes, father. You told us a story yesterday. Yes. When Solomon became the king, his wives introduced idol worship in Israel. This was a disaster. Consequently, authority became corrupt. The poor and the weak were treated very cruelly. Worst of them was a king named Ahab and his wife Jezebel. He and most of other people worshipped a god named Baal. It is during this period when prophets appeared and Elijah was the first of such prophets. Elijah's name meant, My God is the Lord. And true to his name, he was a man burning in his faith to the Lord. It all started when God asked Elijah to deliver a message to the king. I hear the cries of innocent people everywhere. Lord, anyone who worships you is being slaughtered. What can I do? What can I do? I've become so old and weak. God, why are you being so silent? Elijah. Huh? God? Elijah, fear not. I am with you. Go to Naboth's vineyard and meet King Ahab there. I will, Lord. I will go and meet him. Please, my king. I have done nothing wrong. Nothing wrong, you say? How about worshipping false gods? No, my lord. I worship only one true God, the God of Israel. Huh? How dare you? Don't you know that Baal is the one true God? Take him away and kill him. And kill everyone who doesn't worship our great God Baal. No, please don't. No! Come here, you fool. Hmm, the vineyard is beautiful. Jezebel's idea worked. <laughs> All we had to do was to accuse Naboth falsely the owner of this vineyard and then kill him. And, and now, this whole vineyard is mine. Ha 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 ha. Brilliant. Ahab, you are the curse of Israel. Huh? Who was that? Who are you? My name is Elijah. I have come here to deliver a message from God. What is that? You have done what is displeasing to me. You filled the land with idols and led Israel into sin. You deny justice to the poor. You committed a murder and now you are taking his property as well. I will bring disaster on your family. Your children will be eaten by vultures and dogs will eat your wife Jezebel. I'm sorry. I have sinned. Please, please pray that the Lord may forgive me. Please. No, you have no forgiveness. You have defiled the land with idols. No rains will fall on this land until I say, let your bell give you the crops. After announcing the judgment of God, Elijah turned and walked away. Elijah knew that if he was found, then he would get killed. So he went into the wilderness and 
he hid himself near a stream. King Ahab returned to the palace and told his wife Jezebel everything what had happened. I I don't know what to do. That prophet his words frighten me. Don't be a fool, dear. You know that it is Baal who sends the rain and gives us good crops. But there's nothing to worry about. If it's still troubling you, then we will offer special sacrifices to Baal from tomorrow. But that prophet his words are still haunting me. What was his name? I'll send soldiers to catch that old fool. We will let the people watch as he's been sacrificed to Baal. Ha. I I don't think we can find him. Nobody knows where he comes and where he goes. Listen to me, dear. I think it's better for us to repent and turn to the God of Israel. Never. There will be no god but Baal. I will find that old man even if he's hiding under the earth. I will find him and kill him. Ha. Huh. Jezebel sent her soldiers everywhere in search of Elijah, but nobody could find him. In the meantime, just like God told Ahab, a severe drought came over the land. Trees and plants dried up. But God took care of Elijah. He drank water from the stream. And crows brought him bread. Praise and glory to the Lord who provides me with bread and water. The drought became so harsh that the crops died up and the cattle began to die too. Jezebel thought Baal would be pleased by human sacrifices and send rain, so she started sacrificing the Israelites one by one. Mother, help me. No! Go away. Ha! Mother, help me. How long, my lord? How long? Poor people are starving to death. The blood of your faithful servants is flooding Baal's altar. Why are you silent, my lord? Elijah. Huh? Yes, my lord. You must go to Sarapta in Sidon. There, a widow will give you food. The stream is going to dry up. Yes, my lord. I will. Heeding God's words, Elijah left the forest and left for Sarapta. He walked for many days without food and water. And finally, he arrived at the village of Sarapta. Is this the village of Sarapta? Yes. Who are you? You look tired. I have been walking for many days. Can you Can you please give me a morsel of bread and some water to drink, please? Mm. I all we have is flour left for just one bread and little oil. I I was going to bake it and eat it with my son before we die. Don't worry. Go home and make food for you and your son. But first, make a small loaf of bread for me and bring it to me. The Lord has told me that if you do this, your jar will never go empty. and the jug of oil will never go dry huh i will come back in a while then so the old woman went home and did as elijah told her The jar was refilled with flour and the jug never ran out of oil. Huh? But it's a miracle. God
God worked a miracle for them and they never ran out of food for many days. The bin of flour was never used up nor did the jug of oil. Elijah lived with them as long as the drought lasted but one day No! My son! What happened? Why are you crying? My son! He... He... What happened? Tell me! He... He died today. He was sick for many days. Huh? Hmm. Do not worry. Your son will live. Let me go to him. Lord, my God, hear your servant's prayer. You are the refuge of the poor and the father of the orphans. Let this child live again. The Lord heard Elijah's prayers. The soul of the child came back to him and he was alive again. Huh? What happened? Alive, my son, mother, my son, you are back. Thank you, God. Thank you. Now I know that the word of the Lord in your mouth is the truth. After three and a half years of drought, God ordered Elijah to return to Israel. King Ahab met him at the city gate. You are the curse of Israel. How dare you come back to Israel? <laughs> You're so angry. Didn't your god Baal give you any rains yet? It's all because of you. It's all your tricks. The people are suffering because of you. Hmm. Then listen to me. Gather all the people of Israel on Mount Carmel tomorrow. Huh? You must invite all the priests and prophets of Baal too. What are you going to do? You will see that tomorrow. The people of Israel assembled at Mount Carmel the next day. All the priests and prophets of Baal were there too. There were as many as 850 of them present there. How long are you going to worship two different gods? How long will you keep changing your mind? If the Lord is God, follow Him. But if Baal is God, then you follow Him. This is what we are going to do. I am the only prophet left of the Lord and Baal has over 850. Get two bulls and place one on each altar. But do not light the fire. Whoever sends the fire to consume the sacrifice will be the one true God. That's a great idea. Yes, we'll know who is true God today. <sighs> What does he think he's doing? He is challenging us. What if we fail? Yes. I'm scared. The king will kill us if we fail. What are you afraid of? Get the bulls. Prove that Baal is your true god. Prophet Elijah looks so confident. Look at the priest of Baal. They are shaking like leaves. <laughs> Well, there are about 800 of Baal's priests here. Let them start first. Bring the bulls! Baal's priest prepared the altar. They laid the wood, cut up the bull and laid placed it on the altar. Then they started calling out to Baal, their god. Lord Baal, send down the fire! Fire, 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 God Baal! 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 My God, I hope this works. 
ask what happened your god is not hearing your prayers call louder maybe he's sleeping or must have gone out for a walk shout louder <laughs> fire 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 god bell the priests shouted and danced around the altar yelling to bell to start the fire they shouted and shouted from morning to noon with no answer why isn't our god sending the fire is it maybe he isn't the true god at all hmm let's see if elijah's god sends the fire elijah's altar finally elijah called the people over to his altar he began to make his altar he placed the woods took some stones and put them around his altar then elijah did something very strange he asked the people to pour water over his bowl and the wood huh did he just ask us to pour water over his altar yeah how will the wood burn if we pour water on them <laughs> he is a fool if baal can't help us then how can his god send the fire people did as elijah said they poured water over the woods and the bull everything now was soaked in water after the entire altar was soaked elijah stepped forward and simply prayed o oh lord god of abraham isaac and israel show us today that you are the real god of israel and that all i have done is obeyed you show your power to these wavering people let them see that you are the one true god just as elijah finished his prayer fire burst out of the altar and everything was covered in flames every single thing was burned down to nothing and even the water in the trenches were gone huh the people watched completely amazed and they began to fall on their knees the lord he is god the lord he is real god we are sorry lord you are the true god what how did that happen run run for your lives catch the priest of baal let no one escape kill them kill them more run away if you want to save yourself ahab escaped from there and reached the palace he explained what took place at mount carmel jezebel grew furious when she heard that all the priest of baal had been killed how could you let that happen i'm sorry dear i couldn't do anything i i swear by baal whom i worship that elijah will be dead by tomorrow elijah knew that jezebel would send men to kill him he fled into the wilderness he was tired and took rest under a tree Lord God I can do no more I'm sorry I'm no better than my forefathers who were killed Let me die too Elijah fell asleep under that tree but sometime late an angel of God woke him up Elijah Huh 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 Get up and eat you still have a long way to go he was strengthened by the bread and water he then walked for 40 days and 40 nights to reach mount horeb <sighs> <sighs> This is the mountain of the Lord, the mountain Abraham climbed to sacrifice Isaac, the mountain where God made the covenant with Israel. I need to go up and hide myself there. Elijah climbed up the mountain.
and he hid himself inside one of the caves. He stayed there for many days. Suddenly, an earthquake took place. Huh? What's happening? This was followed by a storm and a fire. Ah! 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 This was then followed by a gentle breeze. Elijah then walked to the entrance of the cave. God, what's happening? Elijah, what are you doing here? My Lord, all your prophets have been killed. Only I am left now and the soldiers are hunting for me too. Elijah, there are still 7,000 people in Israel who haven't bent their knees before Baal. Go back to Israel, anoint Elisha to be your successor. I'm going to execute what I said against Ahab. As commanded by the Lord, Elijah returned to Israel for his revolutionary mission. Hmm. He must be Elisha. Did Ahab die as God had warned? Yes, Ahab went to war against Ben-Hadad king of Syria. He was mortally wounded in the war and he died later on. And what happened to Jezebel? She died too as God had warned and because of the sins she had committed, her body was eaten by dogs. Now shall I start with the questions? Yes father. Alright, now tell me what the name Elijah meant. The name Elijah means my Lord is my God. That's correct Lucy who was the king of Israel during those times. Ahab was the king of Israel and his wife was Jezebel. That's right, Matthew. Very good. Now who can tell me why Elijah had to escape from Israel the first time? Elijah had warned the king about the judgment of God. When Jezebel heard about this, she got really angry and she sent soldiers to kill Elijah. That's right again, Lucy. What did Elijah do to prove that the Lord God was the true God of Israel? Elijah and the priests placed their sacrifices on different altars and waited for the God to send the fire. Elijah said that whichever God sends the fire will be the true God of Israel. Very good, George. And Matthew, you tell me, whose sacrifice was lit by fire sent by God? God consumed Elijah's offering by sending fire from the heaven. That's right again, Matthew. Very good. That's all for today, children. Now I shall see you tomorrow with the next story, the story of Amos. Goodbye, children. Goodbye, Goodbye Father. Father.